And here we have the Segway 9 bot Max G2. Here it is. Now, before we go out on a ride, we did the unboxing video. We set it all up. It's all ready to go, other than we've got a couple of things to do just before we get started. So, air in the tyres is a must. I've also got my other phone here, so that way we can um, look through the app settings and see what kind of things we're going to get set up on. So, to start off with, let's head down here to the front wheel, and I have my good old Xiaomi electric pump here. Let's quickly undo this here. Oh, we've got a metal dust cap. That's fancy. <laughs> Okay, just standard metal dust cap. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some air in it, but before we do, I'm gonna see how much air is actually in the tires. Now they feel kind of solid, but it's 55 psi, I think, to start off with. If I remember, or most people been saying that they've been using 55 psi. My clip on this is being a pain. Okay, it's a safety feature to stop the battery being wasted. Let me get my pen here so I can just uh, try and get that little catch. There we go. Okay, let's see how much PSI it has. 55 is what's needed at least, I think, anyway. 33, wow. Okay, that's quite low. Let me just use my other phone for the torch real quick. Just have a look at the tyre, see what it says. I'm sure it is 55 PSI. Um, yeah, 55 PSI, it says there. Just there. You can't quite see. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on the tyre there. But anyway, 55 PSI and it having 33, that's definitely a lot lower. So let's give that some air. A little bit noisy, but this is the quickest way to do it. Take it up a bit more, set it to 56. There we go. Now we have the right tire pressure there in the front. That was quite low, that, considering um, it's meant to be 55. That is definitely quite low. We're also going to look through the app. So if we have any problems with this electric scooter, repairs, punctures, electrical problems, or anything like that, there's going to be more of these videos to come. Don't forget to miss that first test ride as well. Okay, there's that one. Now, let's have a look at this rear tyre. See how much air we have in this one. Is the valve on this side? Hopefully it is. And of course, it isn't. Now, well, that's just typical, isn't it? Okay, let's turn it on its side. There is quite a lot of weight to this scooter. If I'm honest, I didn't really expect it to be the amount of weight that there is, but I mean, if it gets us the range, then we're gonna need it to be half a decent weight for a good battery. Also, obviously you've got the suspension as well. That's gonna increase the weight a little bit. Let's give this one some air. See how much PSI is in this one to start off with. Now you do have the adapter, but I don't need it. I can reach it okay. That one's even lower, 29. Okay, so let's do this one. got the correct tire pressure i think i will check these every two weeks because when you're going over speed bumps and stuff the air is going to compress out a little bit so i'm going to check on them every two weeks okay there we go that's that i'm going to turn the scooter on now the scooter is on let's lift it back up put it back on its stand 
Uh, there we go. So I'm now going to connect the Xiaomi app. Uh, not Xiaomi. Cool. Wow. It shows how many Xiaomi scooters I've had. I instantly say Xiaomi scooter. All right. So there you go. There it is. We're going to have a quick look at these settings here a little bit because we fully charged it, connected it all up, downloaded the software, did the unboxing video. Uh, you could always check that out if you're interested. We also have a um, playlist of e-bikes and electric scooters. Check through that if you're interested in any other electric scooter or more on this one. So if we come down to um, more functions, let's have a look here. So we've got energy recovery. That's set as standard as on weak, disabled or strong. Mm, shame we don't have the option for medium there, but uh, I guess we'll just leave that on weak. Uh, walk mode, max speed is 3.1 miles an hour in walk mode. I don't want that on. Charge limit is set to 100%, which is more for long distance or daily use. You can adjust this. A lower charging limit will increase the battery life. It's set as 100, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, indicator sound. Okay, well, that's different. So if we hit the indicator up here, as you can see, Let's put the indicator sound on and see what that sounds like. There you go, that's on. I mean, it's not really for me, if I'm honest. It's not, not my kind of thing. So um, I'm going to turn that back off. Uh, so Imperial System, so that is, I guess, for... Yeah, kilometers an hour or miles per hour. I like that it gives you the option for that. I'm going to leave mine at miles per hour because I'm here in the UK and that's what we use. Um, custom settings of sports mode. 16 miles an hour maximum, it says. Max speed, energy saving. Now, it's only let me take it to 16 miles an hour, but I am sure... And they can do a speed hack on this to make it go faster than that. So that is something that I will look into to do the speed hack. I will do that at some point. Functions, code lock. Oh, that's okay. That's, oh, yeah, that's all right. Um, I guess we can put a code on there. I'm not going to do that right now because I am recording. And then all you guys will know my code. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, visual alarm will ring in case of vibration. Segway lab. What's that about? Traction control. Wow. Keep vehicles steady on slippery roads. I'm going to put that on. I definitely want that on. Locating vehicle. That's a beta version. Um, again, I'm not going to put that on because it's going to show my location, but that is something I will look into. Device info. Total mileage is zero at the minute. Vehicle temperature is at 20. Battery and firmware details. So master control. Does it let me change any of those? No, it doesn't. But it does let me do a firmware check for update. And it, of course, it would be up to date because we did the update just before we started. Uh, when we start set up the actual scooter itself. So here it shows me a little bit more as well. Shows me what battery, my total capacity, power, battery maintenance. What's that for? Let's have a look at that. Is it going to load? There you go. Okay. A lot of writing there. I'm not going to read through all of that right now. Uh, battery, firmware, and then obviously the serial number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look into... Um, making it a little bit faster i think because 16 miles an hour although that's good this motor is a 450 watt and max peak is 900 but just a quick little bit of a show there on the app and see what it is let's go to show all see if it brings up anything else there functional riding safety user manual repair center okay um a few different bits and pieces there that we can adjust. 
Not that I need to. Oh, there, I did also just notice. I think you can actually, if we press this one up here, it actually allows us to talk to somebody. Oh, it does. End. Well, that's very, very handy because Xiaomi does not have that, or, although they could have it now. I haven't had a Xiaomi scooter for a, a good few months now, but um, that's very handy because if something's going wrong with your scooter, you can just hit up there and talk to someone about it, and they're going to help you out. So one day's as a proud owner. One day's? <laughs> one day, you mean. But yeah, track record, record your first ride. Okay, that's good. Set password about the vehicle. What happens if we hit that? About the vehicle. It does take a little bit of time. It does take a little bit of time to load their function. Energy recovery, riding mode, cruise control. Okay. What was that? Long press what? Pinch the brake handle or press the throttle button again to disabled cruise mode. Okay. Right, then settings, reduce battery life, safety. There is actually a lot in this app considering um, the other ones are definitely, um, for the Xiaomi's, they're def definitely not that much information. Whereas if this one really does go into a lot of depth, what happens if we select more? Notifications, medals, favorites, help, and support online. Look at that. That is online support. That is very, very good. So just a quick little video. Um, yeah, just a bit of, just before we go out on the first ride, just getting everything set, really. So the tires are now at 55 PSI. And... Um, I wonder if we can back the firmware. Let me just have a quick look at that real quick. Um, so if we come down here, go back to that. I'm wondering if we can change firmware to go backwards rather than... Okay, it's not that one. Uh, riding safety, repair, none of that. Not energy recovery. What did I select the first time? Not about vehicle. No, okay, not that. Walk mode, energy recovery. More functions. That was the one. There we go. All right, so here's where we need it. So the custom settings of sports mode. Acceleration settings, max speed, normal, energy saving, okay. I didn't see that before. Yeah, see, it's only let me take it to 16 miles an hour. And when I do, I have tried the throttle, and it does only go to 16 miles an hour. But I have heard that these can hit up to 22 miles an hour. So either I've got to go back in the firmware and change to a older firmware, or if not, then I will have to find another way to do a speed hack, which I'm very sure I'll be able to do that. So uh, keep an eye out for future videos. We're going to make this scooter a little bit faster. Um, and also, as I said, repairs and stuff like that. So if you are new to the channel, you're interested in this electric scooter or other electric scooters or e-bikes, check out our playlist of e-bikes and electric scooters. There's going to be many, many videos of this to come. So Segway 9Bot Max G2 is now ready for its first ride. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Let me know in the comment section below if you've got the same scooter or you're thinking about buying this scooter. Or if you've got any questions on a different type of electric scooter and you're having problems, let me know. I might be able to help you out. Catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.